Would it be possible, if we all met very often, before I leave for India? It makes for the effort, doesn't it? I'm What? We have to look at her again. Yes, it I can't do. hear what you... It only made this side and not this side. There was no, nothing in this ear. It was like... Uh, we perhaps can't... you'll have to speak up, Krishnaji. There's something funny about the acoustics in this room. All right, you're saying speak uh, louder. Right. <laughs> <laughs> closer. Would it be all right? If it is convenient for you all that we meet very often before I leave. Yes. yes. I leave first of or thirty first, thirtieth of October. I have been there in India November the first. And so but I would like to have a few days of rest before I leave for India. So can we have it as long, practically every other day, if it is suitable and convenient for you all? And if you can bear me. I'm saying this with politely, I'm not fishing. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to suggest that we all put aside our opinions and if we can, all together, have one mind. Is that possible? Not about Hirsch's son or kindergarten school or whatever it is. That comes much later or a little later. Can we all have Can we all think together? Not about something, but the capacity to, to think, not from my point of view or your point of view, but to think so that we're all thinking the same thing together. It doesn't mean that we're conforming or having a dictatorial imprint or anything. Thinking together. Can we do it? Because from what the last time we met here, that was the day before yesterday, I saw, if you will forgive me, that you're all offering opinions galore. Everybody's saying different things. So could we, cooperate together about something the, and feeling of cooperation, feeling of trust in cooperating each other, with each other. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. Why is there such different attitudes about, about each one? Why is there such a different outlook in all of us? Is it that there is no crisis and therefore a crisis brings us together? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, am I making my, a crisis? If the house burnt, we'd all be working together. We won't be <coughs> arguing, discussing <laughs> while the house burnt. We'd be doing something. So, does a crisis 
bring us together. Or a really profound problem or issue with which we are all concerned, that will that bring us together? Please, let's talk. If everybody's aware that there's a crisis, probably yes, we work together. Isn't there a crisis here now? <clears throat> because the crisis <coughs> here is that we're all pulling in different directions. That we're all concerned not about the main issue, I may be wrong, so correct me. The crisis is there. But we don't perceive it as a crisis. Don't you see it as a crisis when you and I live in the same house? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Perhaps we don't trust each other. I'm not saying we do, or do or perhaps. We don't trust each other. There is no actual communication with each other. We are offering opinions about each other. There is no flowering together. I don't know if I'm making myself yes, clear. Yes. But I think this is the situation probably all of us have lived with all of our lives. So it's not anything new. No, I'm bringing it. I'm used to it. Yes, the crisis is there. Yes, but it's always been there, and we've become. We've it's always been there. Of course, and of course. And we've become quite used to it. But uh, <coughs> we are bringing it forward. Now, can we all get together and resolve it together? We all have one mind. That means not a mind that merely accepts, rejects, but thinking together, so as to have a mind that is you know what I'm talking about, don't you? So when you say, can we put aside our opinions, do we necessarily know they've been put aside? So, we, we, the whole world is full of opinions, right? Everybody expresses his opinion. Newspapers are full of that. Hmm? And uh, everybody says, but these opinions are uh, penetrated the dozen. Right? Yes, we see that. I think uh, I see that in myself, but when we start talking, uh, the difficulty seems to come in whether we are expressing an opinion or whether we're going to react with an opinion. No, let's find out, sir. Let's find out. Not, no, I'm much more important than opinions. Is can we, all of us, have same direction, same <laughs> a mind that is. Together, feeling. You understand what I'm talking about? It, it seems, I, I may be wrong, but it seems at times when people work together, they may, when they start, they may have opinions about something. And yet, if they really want to work together, the opinions can be dropped and won't get in the way. But if there isn't some sort of 
strong trust between the people. Big pun? If there isn't a trust between the people, they never seem to get started. They may have opinions, and the opinions can be dropped fairly easily. But if the trust isn't there, then it's very hard to even I, to begin. All right, all you ask him, is there trust between us? Yes. That for, now, now, just a minute, sir. Is that a crisis? Yes. Suppose I'm married to you. If we don't trust together, it's finished, yes. right? So I'm asking, is that the, is that an um, issue that's important? Yes. Now, how do you bring trust? How do you, let's think it, now say, all right, let's think about this together. Right? Can we? Huh? Oh, bro, come on, says, what am I to say? May I begin? Do you trust me? Be very honest. You know what's implied in that word? Not the meaning of the word, <clears throat> but the content of it. That I wouldn't harm you, that I wouldn't betray you, that I wouldn't exploit you, I wouldn't use you for my convenience, and so on, so on. I trust you. Go on, sir. Don't let me talk all that. <coughs> Join with this. I've asked you, <coughs> I've asked you a question. Do you trust me? Don't be frightened. If you say, I don't, it's all right. I'm, I'm not frightened. I'm not, I say, oh my God, they don't trust me. I won't weep over it. <laughs> but I want to find out, do you trust some, me? Huh? Mm -hmm. No, not you, Miss McKenna. I'm asking. Mm -hmm. No, I'm asking. Do you trust me? Why? Come on, so join in this. Sometimes we are also a little afraid to express. No, trust. You. Trust is not. That may be different. Do you trust somebody? Do you trust? each other. Do you trust me? I'm being personal. It's not personal. Please forgive me. It's not personal. But I'm trying to bring it down to earth. But for that we must drop completely No, no, I am, I'm asking something else, not drop. Do you trust me? Yes. Why? You don't know me. But you trust me. If you, I'm, not, I'm asking you, please join me. Come on, don't sit there. Well, we know what you've done with your life. We've watched you. Yes. Is that what makes you trust me? Well, in some sense, it, it lends a, a capacity to trust because we're. I mean, you're not contradictory, you're not, you know, you, you're straightforward and honest. I mean, when it's... You're not meeting my point. Does this not imply that we have to take a journey in ourselves? No, no, sir. Just listen. I don't know you. Hmm? Literally, I don't know you. <coughs> I've seen you here for the last two years. I've talked to you, you talked to me. We've been in the same room, and so on. Does trust depend on all that? Working together, walking together, you know, doing things. Does that create trust? Or is trust something quite different? Well, it's quite 
quite different. No, please, come with me. Sir, I, often you trust someone just uh, that you've just met. In the sense that you have no fear of them, you don't, uh, you have no apprehensions, and you don't mind exposing yourself. There's a certain trust there which hasn't been built on past experiences. So, how does have we that kind of trust? I think, I think so. Generally, one starts with trust. Huh? I think generally one starts with trust. Huh? I mean, I think this group. <coughs> When we first began to work together, I think we started by trusting one another. I mean, it's... Now what's happened? Well, what happens is, in, when we begin to work together... It's gone. Something happens, it seems like... We, now, go step by step into it. You started, according to you, with trust. And in working together during these years, that gradually has disappeared. Well, I wouldn't say it has disappeared. All right, right. diminished. Well, it changes. Sometimes there is trust and sometimes <laughs> there isn't. You know, something happens. There's, Go on, pursue it. There's a conflict or there's a, a difference what of opinion. What makes for that conflict? Well, a difference of opinion, it could be. Why? Why? Well, obviously... Uh, well, no, not, but fix it and remove it. Is if I, you and I work together, and gradually, what begins to interfere? It seems we have different ways of looking at uh, things. At, uh, does that make for distrust? Well, sometimes it does. Why? Look. You teach English, and I teach mathematics. There, there is no question of distrust. No. Where does distrust begin slowly? From hurt. Huh? Over From hurt. Overlapping. What? Overlapping. Territory. Something to do with... We build an image about the other one. Is that a problem to us here now? Yes, I think it is. You've all worked together, and gradually the thing is break, moving away from the central trust. Is that it? I think it's a great deal to do with it. Would that be an issue? Would that be a crisis? That gradually the, the distrust has kept in. Hmm? Right? Gradually. And that is breaking up slowly. Breaking up this feeling that we are not together. Huh? Yes, sir. Is that is that a a demanding? I mean, urgent crisis. Or oh, you say, well, it's not quite with me, but it may be with you, but it's I'm not like that. I trust, but you don't trust. I am not so uh, distrustful, discouraged about it. I'm still holding on. And when, <coughs> if it is a crisis, it must affect all of us. 
like war is a crisis which affects all of us. I don't think the situation is so hopeless. Huh? I don't think the situation is... No, so I didn't hopeless. say... Lady, I didn't say it was hopeless. On the contrary, if it is a crisis which we must meet, we must find the answer for it. Now, can we put all our minds together and see if this crisis cannot be resolved? If it is a crisis, I'm not saying it's a crisis. It seems that if that distrust is there, it must be a crisis. Why? Because it affects all of our relationships and the way we deal with one another and the very character of the place. Is that so? Do you distrust? Or um, Shakuntalaji has brought that uh, point and then you're making that a point. You follow? Is, do you feel... So I'm, I'm asking, do you... F if there is trust, you know, trust, how can it be diminished? You understand? If I, if I trust you, what happens? I see all the difficulties. Hmm? I know you're going to do all kinds of things. Say, contradict, uh, do things which I may not like, and so on, so on. But the feeling that I trust you is there, or not? Are you are you saying that if there is trust there, that it it won't be destroyed by what I, someone else does? Why? If it is destroyed, I want to know why. Because you have different opinions. I know, I know a chap <coughs> who, during the Second World War, he was caught in a certain country and he had to leave immediately. So he had a lot of money on him. He had just drawn from bank and gone to the bank and drawn most of his money and said to his real friend, he said, here, hold it, for God's sake, I can't take it abroad, cross the frontier with this lot of money, keep it till that board is over and come back. He came back and he was a great friend. He said, please, he said, what money? Now, there is obvious, right? There is no, I trust, trusted the man and he stole the money, full stop. And so I, I no longer have trust in him. But I haven't lost the quality of trust. I wonder if I'm making myself. Huh? I wonder if I'm making. Am I talking nonsense? Well, what's that quality of. What is Just that quality of trust? So, now, I'm asking you, all of you, what is our difficulty in all this? What's our difficulty, Shakuntalaji? Well, I don't feel that it's as great a difficulty as it's being made out to seem. Oh, I see. Personally, I don't feel that it's 
uh, over here. Huh? I mean, I see the crisis, but I don't see a crisis over here at this moment. I don't. I don't think this is a moment of personal. So you say everything is all right. I don't say everything is all right, but I don't say that. <coughs> I don't say that. Uh, you know, there's a tr uh, loss of trust amongst us all. I, I don't know, lady. I'm, I'm asking you. But personally, I don't feel there's a loss of so, trust. So then, do we think together? Well, perhaps, could I, perhaps it, there's not an exceptional loss of trust. Perhaps it's just an ordinary... Forget trust, huh? leave trust now. I see that, now, all right, let's come up, approach it. Do we think together? Huh? No, we don't. Uh, no. At least very seldom. We might do if we're faced with a, a problem. But on the whole, we don't. Is that creating a problem? Or problems? That creates problems all the time, actually. So, lady? What will you do? It seems to me that I can only think from my accumulation. And as each one of us has a different we have a different point of view of issue to put into the whole. And we need that variety of um, contribution in oh. order to see all around the problem. Oh, is that it? Well, that could is that it? Just look at it, Miss Pratt, what you're saying. I have my accumulation, you have yours. And I, from that accumulated memories and all that, I express something and you express something. It must be different, as you say. The different contributes uh, to, to greater understanding. I find it very confusing. I, I don't think it helps to a greater understanding at all. Well, I mean to say, if, if in point of fact, I may say of some student, I think he's like this. Somebody else says, I find him like this. Somebody else says, I find him like this. And from the whole of that, we have to get some sort of an assessment. Is that how you assess? I, the, the, this, I don't, I'm, I don't know. How do we proceed? How do we proceed to have the capacity to think together? Huh? The word think. Oh no, but Miss Pratt, think. don't make something uh, think, think together. Think is turning over a great matter. We think together to build a house. We think oh. we think together to play football. We think together to build a school. We but think to talk about all those things, Christian. Would you mind? Letting me finish what I want to say. We think together about all these things. We think together to do something. Here, do we think together to flower together? You understand my question? When we're playing football or building a house, we know what we're doing, we know what the end is, but to find yeah, together, we don't know. I said, do we think together in order to each one of us flowers? But we don't know what that is. I, I'll explain what I mean. If that is, <laughs> if that is the lack of an, um, direction, I'll tell you what it means. Do, shall I go into it? Yes. Huh? First of all, are we flowering here? 
growing, expanding. Uh, not physically, bigger. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> expanding. <laughs> huh? My, uh, your mind is much freer, alive, no prejudice, seeing, you know, growing. Like a flower that's growing, that's not stunted, that's not... <coughs> that has beauty, that has perfume, alive, moving. that is free, that understands love, you know, like what we were discussing this morning and more, that, that is to flower. That might be the problem, because it may be that the intention to do that isn't strong enough, that we all meet a, so what is, then, thing. sir, what is preventing us? You understand what I mean? Say I'm here as, as a teacher, as a sweeper, whatever, gone, no? Am I? In me is there a freedom, an affection, in me, not in you, in me, that is flowering, growing, I'm seeing things as they, you know, all that. Or is it all narrowing it down? What do I see? What? <laughs> Maybe uh, see, so we've been discussing thinking in a very negative way, generally as something rather destructive. And maybe we should make it clear what does it mean to really think together? What is happening? Yes, sir, what is happening? When we are thinking uh, constructively together. Yes, when we think together, what is happening? Hmm? You understand? When we are thinking together to build a house, let's begin there. To build a house, what is happening? Come on. Um, our minds are working together. Which means what? We coordinate the actions. We both want to build a house, right? The architect and all the rest of it. Hmm? You may suggest a larger room, I may say not too large, but we c it's always together we are doing it, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Isn't you are building the house, I'm not, I'm contributing it or I'm contradicting. To, the movement is together, right? Right? Sure? Sure. sure. I don't know. If, hmm? Now, does this move, movement of being together exist? Or each one say, no, this should be that way, that should. You should say it, but it's together. You understand what I'm saying? It's the difficulty when the aim isn't so clear. When there's a clear aim. Exactly. All right. Is that, the, is that the difficulty? That we have no clear aim? No, sir. I, I think it, the things touch the individual person too much, and that's where we get into difficulty. If it's some question of something outside over there, it's quite easy to talk together or to work together, or it's much easier because it's not threatening at all. Is that the difficulty? That 
We cannot, each one is, is, is such a strong individual, hmm? strong opinions, strong points of view, that we can't meet each other, is that it? I don't think we can't meet each other, or that we don't work together. Ah, no, I said think together, not work together. Well, I think I think basically we do think together. All right, then problem is solved. It, and we just we disagree about the size of the room, maybe. But, but is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Be clear. It seems so to me. I don't. I don't know. Ask them. They don't talk. No, I don't. I don't feel that we do think together as well as we could. No. I think that there's moments when we. Not think as together. well as you could. Either you. <laughs> pull the rope together, or you don't. Oh, am I saying something outrageous? So in the example you gave of the house, if the two of us are trying to make a house, and if one of us is building a house because I've got this great idea about, about a house, how it should be, you know, and he says, look, I understand your idea, but I think this is really great. And I, and I keep on pressing, pushing it, because I think what I've got is really, you know, very important. All right. I think that causes a problem. Uh, is that it? I, you pressure me, either I yield to you, or I fight you. Yeah. Is that it? Well, that's what can happen. It's not satisfactory. Oh. Well, otherwise, uh, two people would work together and, and, and build a good house. But if one person has a, a feels something strongly that they won't let go, they're, they're not ready to... Are you saying we don't yield to each other? You don't yield, and I don't yield. You say? Or one bullies the other, and huh? the other, or one bullies and the other yields. Yes, that's it. This is that what is that thinking together? It's not thinking. So, <laughs> how do we bring about this capacity to think together? Not you. That doesn't mean you can't suggest. I won't accept, or I won't. Thinking together. Well, first of all, if we have to think together, there, there mustn't be any superiority and inferiority. No. Why not? Well, because... Uh, you, are, you are a mathematician. You are superior. Dr. Baum is superior then to me. What the heck? Yeah. In uh, matters like that, but in psychological matters... Even, psych even psychologically, you may be better than me. You have understood more. Yes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to bully you. No, but there, there, there's inequality. Yes, there is inequality, but... The purpose accept it. Yes, I accept that, but I'm saying the attitude mustn't be that I'm bullying you into... Not your attitude mustn't be. It, <laughs> then you enter into mm -hmm. suppositions that we are lost. I'm, we are trying to find out together, why we can't look at the same thing with the same outlook. You may, I'm not saying you're not. We don't advance, you see. It's not clear why we don't, Krishnaji. It's clear that we don't, but not why we don't. It's clear that you don't? Yes. Huh? Well, I, feel, well, I feel that basically uh, we want the same thing. What? I feel basically we want the same thing with regard to Brockwood. All right. But in the working out of the details... 
Yeah, so, so you want the same thing, huh? but working out, there is in details, that's where the conflict comes in. Yes, I say, this is the right way to do it, and someone else says, no, my way is the right way, and that's when the... Now, will the man who says, this is the right way, will he yield to you? Or will you yield to him? Or, all we, or do we stick to our own point of view? It's not, it's not clear, Krishnaji, that even that yielding is going to be thinking together. I mean, we could take t turns yielding, and that's still not going to be thinking together. No. Uh, it seems we have to yield to reason, to intelligence, you see, to... Uh, uh, if, if, uh, consider each other's points of view. And we have to be at least open. That the important point is not whether we, not to start with whether we yield, but with a state of mind that is ready to yield to intelligence. Well, you see, if, if you're holding to your own position and you're not ready to yield, well then, then, it's, then it's impossible. If you begin with the way we are, then the whole thing is impossible. I mean, that's the way it looks to me. And if you just stick there. So you begin with the intention to yield. Well, no, but to see the importance of, of, yielding. of yielding when when reason shows, or something shows, or the fact show it's necessary. If, if somebody else may show it's necessary to, to do it another way. Otherwise, you stick to your... If you stick, if everybody says I stick to my way, then we can't begin. No, but I mean, you say yield to reason, but if you can't see the reason, then we have to argue, discuss some more. Until, until, until we're we all caught in that. Hmm? We're caught in that. I think that's the, the difficult point when you say, we, uh, will we yield to reason? Yeah. Now, yeah. as Doris said, <laughs> who's going to say what is reason and what is not? How do you see the reason of something and know it's not an opinion? Well, the, the thing is, uh, in the very beginning, before we start, we have to be in a state of mind which is not going to hold for personal reasons. We're saying just because it's my view, I'm holding to it. And if, if somebody uh, says something that upsets my view, then I react with disturbance. You say in the beginning, one has to be in the state of mind. When is that beginning? Look, no. Miss Brad, I, I want to think with you. Are you willing to think with me? I, I, I think I'm willing. Willing, just wait, that's all he's saying. I want to think with you about something together? Are we both of us willing to think together about that? Yes. yes. Now, can we think together without that? Without a particular thing. Huh? Without a particular, particular thing. thing yeah. so, which means the capacity or the feeling or the affection that let's think together. Huh? To have one mind, not dictatorial, you know, dictatorship, totalitarian, big brother, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> Apparently this seems so terribly difficult. I may be wrong. Apparently, when I say apparently, seemingly. Well, it's new, I think, because we to actually you have to have a feel for the intention. It has to be brought to notice for a start. But there is there's such a thing as this intention, which is what you're doing here. Now. Look, sir, a brotherhood is, is our place, right? We must, there must be a, 
We're all working for it, right? And that demands that all of us have the same feeling, same feeling about the place, right? Don't we? And also to diminish our own particular idiosyncrasy and say, look, this is important, not me. So we are moving together. I don't know how to express anymore. Does this exist? I mean, if it exists, it's finished. There's nothing more to be said. You may. Within that feeling, is there a certain margin for different opinions or uh, To me, opinions are valueless, no, personally. You say you're considering building this house. What? Uh, surely not everyone will want exactly every detail of the house the same. But you all agree that you want to build the house, that you have affection for the Look, project. Yes, I would say to the architect who is building the house, I say, I, I'll tell him what I want. Hmm? i leave it to him. I say, I'll tell him exactly what I want. Size of the rooms, size of how many that's rooms. The, that's the problem, Krishnaji, is that when there's 10 people who decide exactly what they want. And I know. And whom do you leave it to? No, 10 of us are building the house. And 10 of us are saying exactly what we want. You say exactly what you want. But it's. It's a hundred different things. Say it. And then what, sir? See, we are building the house together. Hmm? Say exactly what you want. Whether that's possible to do it within the area, within the amount we have money for it, we say express all our feelings. And if we cannot do certain things, sorry, we can't. And I say, um, though I suggested it, I'm sorry, it can't. So I, I don't carry the grudge about it. I don't think, why didn't you, and so on. I feel it can't be done. You, so if you wanted to build what? a house, you wanted to build a house of brick, and uh, someone else wanted to build it of wood, um, it's not what can be done. Neither can be done. How do you come to... I don't understand what you're saying. Be one simple. person wants to build a house Huh? House, the other person wants to build a wooden house. Both are possible. Oh, really? Both that we are reducing it to sub no. such absurdity. Well, I'm <coughs> when I want to build a house, I, I want to build it. I don't care if it's large house, small or wood. I want to build something <coughs> that's lasting, <coughs> that's beautiful, that is it. That will contain everything that I want. That's all. If you say it would, I say, all right, have it. Well, it seems to me there if people can give their reasons why they prefer one or the other, and eventually we should be able to work it out. Well, I think we have to abandon building a house. We have want to build a place, not a structure, where something no, please. really good is happening. I wonder if we are disturbing more than we are doing good. That's a terrible thing to say. I, because I mean to every man's we all good. Miss Pratt, you haven't even, you're already ready to offer an no, opinion. I left several seconds after you finished. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. If we are creating more disturbance than we're doing good, perhaps, then that's very, that is a crisis. Why are you? If you're telling us that. Krishna Ji, I, I, it seems, I'm, I don't understand it, but it seems that for this thinking together to occur, we have to be able to abandon our egos. We have to be able to put aside our conditionings put it <coughs> our prejudices and our opinions. Uh, begin then, do it. That's a very big beginning. That's... <coughs> <coughs>
It's not very big. When you want to do it, you do it. We have to be ready to expose ourselves <coughs> to being hurt. <coughs> we have to do an awful lot, which, it, which actually threatens us terrifically. You see, two people speak, three. We don't, none of us speak, all of us. The factual thing is that we're all offering opinions, right? And what? And then what? And opinions are penny to the half a dozen, or a dozen, or a hundred. And one doesn't want to see opinions have really very little value, right? Then why do you, why not you, why do we offer opinions all the time? I think it's not an opinion, but a fact. Oh, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is a fact? What I'm going to say. Huh? What I'm going to try and say. What? <coughs> I'm going to try and say. Say it. I think it is a fact that everybody here, whether they're able to say it or not, really loves what you are saying and you. Well, may I say, oh, you have finished? I'm not sure what it is. I'd rather you interrupt it. Look. Am I mistaken? I feel it's very important, I really do, that we all have the capacity to think together. Right? I feel that immensely important. I'd like to convey it to you. Because we're all living in Brockwood, and I'm quite sure if we all think we can, we'll, we'll bring about a marvelous center here. Not that it's not, don't jump on me, that's not all that it is. And so I say, please have the goodness to find out for yourself what it is to think together. This morning, Dr. Bohm and I were thinking together, right? Right, sir? We were both pushing, 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 investigating, withdrawing, investigating. So it's not quite like that, it's like this. And at that moment, there was no Dr. Bohm or me. We were together looking, 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 right? Answering. <coughs> questioning, exposing, hmm? say this is not quite like this, like, and so kept moving, moving together. Right? Can we do this? Can I do it with you? I think sometimes we don't do this to the very end amongst ourselves. No, 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 begin. <laughs> no, so please, just let me. Can we do it together? Or we are hesitant, nervous, um, 
afraid to expose, afraid to... You follow what I'm saying? I don't seem to meet you. Do you see that it's a very important thing to, to think together? Huh? Absolutely vital. Huh? Absolutely vital. Vital. Now, we just admit that. Now, can you and I see why we don't? Yes, I think at periods in time we do it, and we don't understand what comes in and sends it haywire. We don't understand... No, no before, yeah. as the haywire arises, yeah. can you examine it? and let, let the Hewa disappear. You follow what I'm saying? I want to think with you. Hmm? Look out at the same way and so on. Now, I see something is creeping up in me which is going to prevent our thinking together. Hmm? My dislike of you or my um, something or other. Can't I see by Joe that she's going to prevent me from thinking together, so I, I will not allow it to interfere. Because my intention with you is to think together. You follow what I'm saying? So that, I, that becomes irrelevant. Right? Now, are we in that position? We have, both of us have placed thinking together as the most important thing. Yes. Yes. And anything that interferes with it, my pleasure, my life, I will completely put it aside because thinking together is far more important than my idiosyncrasy, my opinion. I don't know if I'm conveying it. Yes. Then why can't I do it? That moment, yes. that's it. The moment it's gone a fraction too long, you're finished. That's right, yes. that's right. Can I do that? Can we do that? So you can only think together with someone if, if you both have an interest in... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no, then you are lost. Then if the interest changes, you and I break up. But if one person is not, doesn't want to talk about something... Not, if, the, if you say, her. if you definitely say, I don't want to think together, that problem is quite different. Isn't it? If I say to you, sorry, I don't want to think together. Right? There's no problem. Then we just don't think together. Yes, we don't. But if, if you and I see that thinking together is most essential, hmm, then anything that interferes with it is irrelevant. Right? And that irrelevancy is washed, put aside completely. And that must mean that if we don't think together, it is because we don't really see the necessity for... Well, you don't want to think together. To think together. That's all. But we say we want to... Oh, then, then that's all playing with words. I want to think with you together. I want to. I really want to. I think that's the only way to create, to live, to bring about something. You follow? And that's, to me, that's tremendously important. I won't let my prejudice, because I, you wear black dress, or you're an Indian, or I don't like you, or you're this or that. I say all that, yes, yes. 
put all that aside, but that is the central thing which I'm going to hold on to. No? So is this thinking together just between two people or three people? All of us. All of just us? Us. Begin with the... <laughs> And since I look so how, how extraordinarily difficult this is between us. You follow? We have known each other, we've lived for 10, 15, 30 years, apparently can't. And we're outside people where they say, go to hell. What are you talking about thinking together? In case you are you're a communist or you're a, you follow? and throw me out. But here, we are not throwing each other out. We are willing and, ex trying to, and examining the necessity and the urgency of thinking together. Right? If you say to me, sorry, I don't want to think together, you and I will be friends, but we'll be finished friends, you know what I mean. But if you say, I want to think with you, because I see it's tremendously important, hmm? because it's only when you and I think together we can build, create. I don't know, if you follow what I'm saying? But in spite of that, it doesn't happen. Is what? In spite of feeling like that, Oh yes, it will happen if you want to. If you want to marry that woman, you do everything you want to. <laughs> you don't say, well, it might not happen, shall I hesitate, shall I look around for a more beautiful girl and go around the world looking for a beautiful girl, you'd end up, huh? <laughs> No, please, sirs, this is real. No, I said we'll talk, if, if you are willing, if you want to, <coughs> only one hour, one hour, not endlessly go on. So I would say nearly an hour, it is an hour. So do we want really think together? Not want in the sense, yes, I want, but if it isn't convenient, I won't. <laughs> it also seems that trust is born when you see another person or you see yourself being watched in the beginning of a haywire. No. Talking about. No, I, we are beginning today, and you forget all of that. And I want, I say, please, it's. Tremendously important for Brockwood, for ourselves, for humanity, that there are a group of people who are really thinking together. If you, if you say, I really want to think together, then let's go at it. You understand them? Let's go at it. <coughs> See, if you are thinking together, you will contribute. You understand what I'm saying? I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Don't nod your head if you don't agree. Basic, don't say yes, carry on. But thinking together is, is in that you are contributing, I am contributing. We're all adding, 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 moving. That is flowering. That is to move from one's terribly anchored little self, you know, move.
eventually we meet again. Mrs. D, or all of you, eventually we meet. I like to meet, if possible, every day. Don't bother me whether I'm get tired, whether I'm old. Forget all that. Just find out if you want this. If we can keep it brief, sir. Huh? If we can keep it brief. I'm going to keep it. I'm not letting draw on for the next three hours. I, I want to stop now. So you shall we meet? Huh? What? All right. Now don't look at me as though um, I'm getting tired. I, this is, I'm going to do this till you all <laughs> burn together. All right, tomorrow. I have, I have to talk to somebody tomorrow. Huh? That's all right. When do you talk to you? We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Do we want this? First of all, please, I want to be quite clear. This is a voluntary thing. I'm not forcing you to meet me. If you say, go to hell, I'll go to I say, all right. <laughs> I mean it. If you really want this every day, I'll go at it. It may not be possible, we may not be possible tomorrow or after tomorrow, but we'll go at it every day if necessary. And what it means, you are expending your energy, not me alone, right? Mm. Did you say alone, sir, I can't do that? Huh? Did you say alone, you were going to do it? Huh? Did you say alone, you were going to do it? I didn't hear. Till doomsday. I'm going to have a holiday. I'm going to... Before I go to India, I have to have rest. So it'll be from probably from the 10th till I leave, or the three, for two weeks or three weeks before I leave. I must have a rest, because there is a tremendous lot to do in India. So <coughs> up to that, <coughs> drive, I'm going to drive you, you're going to drive me. If you want it, if you don't, it's all right. Right? So it would have to be better if you alternated the days, not every day. It's up to all right. You arrange it, sir. I Tell think me. So, because if we have more energy, this gives us time to talk to, to one another on the day off. Good. Go to it, all right. All right, all right. All right. Every other. Is that all right, Mr. D? Is that better? Huh? Scotching. Right, every other day. He says that without me, you want to see, you get together, discuss this. Right, sir? Yes. Yes. So you to have an opportunity for that. Every you say, come every other day. Postman comes every other day. Right. Right. Postman knocks twice. You need the play. Yeah. Huh? Never only, twice. only knocks. Twice. Only knocks <laughs> Please, I would like to just point out one thing. I am very serious. 
which doesn't mean I can't laugh, but I'm very serious about this. So if you don't want to be serious, perfectly all right.